Hey everyone, Congressman Lloyd Smucker here, bringing you the last installment in our month in review series for 2023. Year has flown by. December is, uh, we're almost at the end of December and uh, 2024 is right around the corner. December was a busy month in Washington, D.C. and back in the district. And as usual, I'll share just a few highlights with you. Uh, in Washington, the House Education Workforce Committee, of which I'm a member, held a hearing with college presidents about the growing anti-Semitism that the nation has seen on college campuses. And the testimony that we heard from the university presidents, it was just despicable. Listen to how these university presidents responded to a question from my colleague, Representative Elise Stefani. Ms. McGill, at Penn, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's rules or code of conduct? Yes or no? If the speech turns into conduct, it can be harassment. Yes. I am asking, specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. That is not bullying or harassment. This is the easiest question to answer yes, Ms. McGill. So is your if testimony it, that it, you will not answer yes? If it uh, is, if the, yes speech becomes, no. if the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? The speech is not harassment? This is unacceptable. In response to that shocking testimony, the Committee on Education and Workforce launched a formal investigation into how the policies, the disciplinary procedures, and the learning environments have led to this rise of anti-Semitic action on college campuses. We want to ensure that students have a safe learning environment, and we're going to follow the facts where they lead. I introduced the Improve and Enhance the Work Opportunity Tax Credit Act on a bipartisan basis with my colleagues, uh, Representative Sewell, Representative Fitzpatrick, Horsford, and Kelly. This legislation would build on the success of the Work Opportunity Tax Credit which provides a credit to companies who invest in hiring veterans, individuals with disabilities, long-term unemployment individuals, and SNAP recipients. Since that credit, the Work Opportunity Tax Credit, was first uh, enacted nearly 30 years ago, the value of the credit has eroded significantly due to inflation. I also enjoyed visit with so many great people across the district during this month. I enjoyed joining the community in downtown Lancaster during the celebration of Hanukkah. I visited New Hope Ministries Hanover Senator, Center to learn more about the work they're doing to support the community. And I toured Astro Machine Works in Ephrata and learned more about uh, the work to address the avian flu at Aptavian. As we wrap up this month in review, I wanna thank you for tuning in uh, throughout 2023 each month as we've done these. I look forward to the new year. I'm looking forward to continuing to share with you each month. And I hope that you and your families have a Merry Christmas and a wonderful holiday season. Also want to remind you that we're always here to help you. If you're experiencing any trouble at all with a federal department or an agency, please visit my website, smucker.house.gov, or call any of my offices uh, on the telephone to learn more. Thank you so much. Uh, for watching this month in review video. Please share it, by the way, with your friends and neighbors. And be sure to follow me on social media at Rep Smucker and sign up for my e-newsletter to receive the latest news about what, what, what's happening in Washington and in the district. Thank you so much.